Welcome to the Edgebaston Priory Tennis Club as the Wimbledon Channel pop-up comes to Birmingham. This is one of the most important grass tournaments on the women's calendar as we continue our journey towards Wimbledon. The tournament has been on this site since 1982 and the first champion here was Billie Jean King. Since then, other champions such as Martina Navratilova and Lee Na have gone on to lift the trophy in Birmingham. This year we will have a new champion in Birmingham as the 2018 winner Petra Kvitova is ruled out through injury but that doesn't matter because we've got an absolutely stacked field here not only featuring the world number one Naomi Osaka, the new French Open champion Ashley Barty and the formidable legend that is Venus Williams. One of these players though that's hoping to lift the Maud Watson trophy is Karolina Pliskova who feels and believes that she still has much to achieve on the grass. Carolina Pliskova, welcome to the Wimbledon Channel pop-up. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, I've got to say, what a season it's been for you so far. How exciting is it as a player? Yes, I feel confident about my season. I think it's the best uh, start of the year which I ever had. And of course, being number three now back, uh, it's exciting. And I think I've played some good tournaments, good matches. I think I'm feeling confident coming to the grass. Today I won my first match on grass, so it's a good start. You have a former Wimbledon champion in your camp now, Conchita Martinez. How has she influenced your style of play and also your mindset going into Grand Slams? I think she was more actually clay court uh, player than on grass, but of course she won the Wimbledon. So we did some improvements on clay this year uh, as well. So now on grass there was not much time, but we're hoping to get some matches now, uh, some practices on grass. I play Eastburn before Wimbledon as well. She's coming there, so hopefully she can, she can help me. She can give me some advices and I can go far. So you're here in Birmingham and you just said you're going to be playing at Eastbourne and of course Wimbledon as well. Would you say that you've fallen in love with the grass? Well, I won my first round here in Birmingham, so I think that's a good start uh, because a couple of years I didn't win a round here. So I played final a couple of years back, so hopefully I can go far. I'm going to maybe face my sister, which is not the best start uh, of the grass. But anyway, every match which I'm going to play is good and hopefully I can add some victories. So building up to Wimbledon, how excited are you about hearing that? I think everybody's excited, always about Wimbledon, about the grass, so hopefully the weather's going to be not that bad. I always stay in the house close to Wimbledon, which helps, and let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to have my family, my husband is coming, so I'm excited to play there. And of course, over the last few months, even last year, we've seen a different winner on tour as well as in the Grand Slam. How exciting is the depth of women's tennis at the moment? Well, it's, I think it's for everybody it's good to know because there is chance for really uh, everybody to win it. And I think even now, like not only Wimbledon, but I think all the tournaments, there is uh, pretty much every week different winners. So it's good on one hand. On the other hand, it's of course pressure because you know that you always have the chance. But hopefully I can be the win winner one day. Carolina Piscova, thanks for your time. Best of luck. Thank you. It's not that often you head to primary school and see a Grand Slam champion standing in front of you in assembly, but that's exactly what happened at Mosley Primary School in Birmingham. Take a look at this. It's always really exciting uh, for me personally, trying to get involved with kids' tennis and introducing them to tennis. And I mean, ultimately what we're after is trying to open up the world of the tennis sport to kids to get more, more involved, uh, more people playing tennis because it's a sport you can play for life. Visits like this are just so important. The fact that children can see not only players but have a great session like this in school time, they're just inspired. It's a bit of a different sport and obviously anything that you have to track a ball and, and use a racket as well. Having to track it with your eyes and, and get that coordination and um, you know it's, it's a stepping stone into, into further coordinating kids and people all around the world. We really want it to be for everyone, be welcoming, making sure that we've got as many children as possible and their families involved in what we do. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you live, what you look like or what you do. You bring smiles to faces, you know, it's a fun, enjoyable sport, something that keeps you active and, and as I said, you can play for life, you can play with friends for life of any, of any age, of any um, capability and uh, that's, the most, that's the best thing about tennis. I've been joined by Donna Vekic, who's just come off the back of the Nottingham final. Thanks for talking to us. How are you feeling? 
I'm a little bit tired, but uh, I'm very happy to be in Birmingham. I have some good memories here as well, so looking forward to my first match. How important is it for you to get a good start for the grass court season? I think it's, uh, it's very important because uh, the season is so short uh, and I really enjoy playing on grass so it can be, it can be definitely tricky especially first, uh, first matches on, on a different surface is always, uh, is always tricky especially grass but um, I feel very comfortable on grass so it's usually always a good experience for me. What makes playing on grass so comfortable for you? I like to think I have an aggressive style of game. Uh, I serve big. Uh, I like to open up the court uh, and you know just try to be aggressive. I'll finish the points early, and uh, grass kind of helps you to do that. But I think if you have confidence coming in on grass, it, that that helps a lot as well because everything's happening very fast. Speaking of confidence, I remember watching your first match against Sloane Stevens at last year's Wimbledon, famously knocking out the French Open finalist. How important is that performance for you in terms of going into this year's tournament? It was definitely a big win for me. Um, it was. Uh, I also made the first time second week uh, at the Slam, so it's it was it was great. And you know, but I've always enjoyed playing on grass in the last couple of years, and I've been playing good the whole year, so it uh, definitely helps as well. And given that you've you've played a few years now at Wimbledon, what is it you like the most about the British experience? Oh, I. <laughs> <laughs> Wimbledon is my favorite tournament uh, period. But, um, it, Why is it your favorite? It's it's special. It feels it feels special. It's different. You know, we wear all white. It's so classy. It's uh, it's just it's just different. Best of luck at Wimbledon. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. That's all we've got time for here in Birmingham. Next up, we're off to the beach and sunny Eastbourne. We'll see you there. <laughs>